The heathen ritual of winter nights honors the arrival of the winter tide. Different groups and traditions celebrate this at different dates during the autumn period. Some celebrate winter filleth, or winter finding, at the first full moon after the autumn equinox, and then have a second winter nights ritual around the end of October. Some just celebrate winter nights, usually around the 31st of October. This may or may not be a traditional time to celebrate this seasonal tide, but today, as many different cultures and traditions celebrate the end of summer and the harvest season at this date, as well as honoring the ancestors, it's become a popular date with many in the heathen community. For me, living in Suffolk, this date works very well as the harvest is winding down, the leaves are falling, and the nights are drying in fast. There's definitely a change in the air, the feeling that one season is turning into another, and the energy which moves outwards during the summer season is turning inwards now. Gathering at hearth and home during the long winter nights, while the wild hunt rides outside on the winter winds, is at the heart of this season. For me, the energy is winding down, apart from the deer run on the heath. The stags are calling at dawn and dusk, and sometimes throughout the day. The deer are gathering in larger and larger herds, and clashes between the stags for the right to mate can be heard with sharp cracks as antler meets antler in the quiet of the approaching winter. This energy helps me to keep my spirits up, even as the days grow shorter and the nights loom large. The north winds are blowing, and all the land whites are preparing. Winter nights is celebrated with a bloat, a ritual of offering or sacrifice. It is sharing with the land whites, the ancestors and the deities, rather than simply offering something to the land. In my Anglo-Saxon based heathen practice, the bloat is the ritual where the sharing occurs, and the husel is the feast that occurs at the end of a ritual with all participants. If performing a bloat alone, there is no husel, just the bloat. In the group that I am often invited to participate with, Wafakin, at their winter nights a bloat is held to honor the ancestors. They also honor Ulur, a god of winter. Due to the stronger than normal accent towards the ancestral nature of this bloat, they also honor Saxneet at this time. This is how I perform a bloat. First, the area is made sacred. There are several ways of doing this, such as the hammer rite used in the troth organization. I like to use a song. Next, I float the area with a sprig of evergreen dipped in water. You can also use mead. Then the offering or sacrifice is made sacred. Holding this over a flame, or making the sign of the hammer is used in heathenry and is traditional. Prayers to the gods follow. I honor Freya, my patron goddess, as well as Skadi and Ulur at this time of year. After each prayer, I take a sip of mead and then pour some out for the god or goddess into an offertory bowl or the fire. I then honor the ancestors in the same way, honoring those who have passed this year and all those of my family and ancestral line. Then I honor the land whites. Finally, if there is an oath that I would like to make before the gods, the ancestors and the land whites, I say the words out loud to fall into the well of weird. I will also include words that show how I will make reparation should I fail in my oath. Then the rest of the mead is poured out and the food is placed out in offering, or burned in the fire, or a bit of both. Bloat is a simple but effective ritual, a celebration and a sharing with the gods, the ancestors and the land whites. It is making a connection, establishing a relationship, which is why sharing in the offering and sacrifice is so important in the heathen practice. For me, Offerings are food and drink, and sacrifices are things that I give up to the gods, the ancestors of the land whites, such as jewelry or items that I have made which will not harm the environment. 
You can perform a bloat at any time you wish alongside the traditional times. It is making that connection that is important. Blessings of winter nights to you all. <laughs>